Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to add hyperlinks in HTML page. This link could be a text, an image, or any other HTML element. When a user clicks on this link, it can redirect to a website or a different web page of the same website or to a different section within the same web page. Don't worry, you don't have to remember this right now. We will try an example for all of these. Then you have a better clarity. All right. So to add a link, we can use the anchor tag. Let's try an example to understand it better. So anchor tag is alphabet A wrapped in angle brackets. It needs a closing tag. So we've got that. It needs an attribute href. So this href attribute defines where the user needs to be redirected. For example, let's say we want to open ediola.com when someone clicks on this link. So we would add ediola's URL in href. So let's get that. So let's just copy this and paste it here. So we've got ediola's URL. Then we need to add the HTML element which needs to be clicked. Let's say we want the link to be a text. So let's just do that. Let's save it and run our live server. And as you can see, we've got a link here. When I hover on it, it shows us this clickable mouse pointer. And when I click on it, it redirects my page to edioda.com. So let's just go back. Let's bring our editor up. So when you click on this link, it opened the new URL in the same browser tab. We can also make it open in a new tab. For that, we need to use another attribute, target. So let's use that. So target, you can give a value blank. So now what it will do is whenever I click on this link, it will open in a new browser tab. So let's click it. And now, as you can see, it created a new tab and opened my link here. Cool. All right. Now let's create an image link. So for that, we need an image first. Let's say we've got this editor URL. So copy image address coming back to our web page. And let's bring up this text editor. Let's comment this. Let's create an image first. So image needs a source attribute. Let's give it our image. And it needs an alternate text. So alt, let's say Adioda logo. All right, let's save it. And now as you can see, we've got this big image here. Let's change the width and height. Let's say 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Let's save it. Now we've got a bit smaller. And when you hover, the mouse pointer doesn't change to clickable. So let's bring this back up. Now to make this a link, we need to wrap it with an anchor tag. So A and so now our image is inside the anchor tag. Anchor tag needs href. So let's just copy this and let's open it in a new browser tab. So let's also copy paste this target blank attribute. Let's save it. Let's hover here and now as you can see, our, mo our mouse pointer changes to clickable. When you click on it, it opens editor.com in the new tab. That's all for today guys. If there is something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.